Hey everyone, I just wanted to say hi to anyone from my class who might be watching. I really miss you guys and I can't wait to see you all again, as well as introduce myself to anyone who might not know me. My name is Sven Broman, and I really just hope you guys are doing well and staying safe during this crazy time. So today, we're going to continue discussing how the Bible talks about love and how Jesus displayed this love while, in his, while during his earthly ministry. So the verse that we're talking about today is in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and it's the second half of verse 4, which says that love does not parade itself and is not puffed up. What this means is love is not prideful. Now, to be prideful means to think that you're better than someone just because of something that you might have that they might not have, or just because you wear nicer clothes than them. But Jesus loves everyone the same, no matter what they look like or how old they are, and he wants us to do that as well. One story in which Jesus shows this kind of love is from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. In this story, some children come to Jesus so that he can heal them. But his disciples get angry at them and send them away because they thought Jesus was too important to be bothered by little kids. Jesus gets mad at them, though, and rebukes them, and says, Let the little children come unto me, and that unless someone will receive heaven as a little child would, they will not enter heaven. What he's showing here is two things. One, that he is not too high and mighty for little kids to come to him. He is available to anyone, and he loves everyone so much. The second thing he is showing is that we as Christians also need to be humble, or we'll never be humble enough to ask for forgiveness to come into heaven. God loves us all so much, no matter what we look like or no matter what we have. So can you guys think of any ways that you can love people humbly? Sometimes we think that taking out the trash or doing the dishwasher or cleaning the bathroom is something that's too dirty for us. But doing those things is such a great way to bless people. And those are exactly the kind of things that God wants us to do as humbly as we possibly can. One final thing about humility. In all four Gospels, Jesus only uses two words to describe himself. He says in Matthew, For I am gentle and lowly in heart. To be lowly in heart also means to be humble. Think about it. Jesus could have said that he was this strong person, or that he was mighty or powerful, but instead he said he was gentle and humble because he wants us to know that he is a humble person and that we need to be humble too because we want to be just like him. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And I'm praying that you would all have a blessed day and would continue to learn more about the love of God. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless.